Well, both sides have assessed what they need to do over the break, and we'll see if one can pull away in the third. It's been an absolute clinic out there by Kelsey Mitchell. She played a very smart game offensively, looking for and finding gaps in the defense and always looking for the best shot possible. Yeah, the way she played that first half, well, that's exactly what we're talking about when we talk about being efficient on offense. Here's the wings with the ball. Trailing by five. Outside, Agunmawale. Second chance shot. Pass to Howard. And finally, they hit one. So tough to stop Howard once she gets the hot hand. Her confidence grows with every shot she makes. Samuelson outside. Smith with it. Here's Boston. McCowan defending. And here's Smith. Here's Howard. It falls for her seventh bucket of the contest. She's seven for nine today. Here's the Fever with the ball. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. Clark outside. Pass to Mitchell. No good on the triple. Outside, Agumawale. Spins. And good as it takes a nice bounce off the right iron and down. Well, it's tough to stop Agumba Wale when she's letting it rip. She can get those shots off in a hurry. Mitchell defended by Sheldon. Mitchell shots Mitchell. good. Superb assist. She was crafty, creative, and the ultimate teammate on that play. Sheldon outside. To the paint. Here's McCowan. The Fever pull it in. Just over two and a half minutes gone by in the second half. Clark outside. Back to Mitchell. Samuelson. Clock at four. Here's Clark. Good D by Arike Agumbo Wale. The wings trail. On the wings, Satu Sabali. She's covered by three, Mitchell. Three and there's the three-second violation. Sometimes the intensity of a close game can lead to bonehead plays like that one, guys. So it's Indiana now. Their defense has only allowed six points in the second half. 11 feet out, and the bank shot is, is good. There isn't a part of the court that Mitchell won't let it fly. When she hits from the mid-range, it just increases the headache for the D. Sheldon outside. Pass to Sabali. Six to shoot. Over Samuelson. And that one's good. Sabali. Next time she has that much space, she should just go straight up with it and leave the fadeaway at home. Samuelson outside. Smith. To the inside. Here's Boston. It's not going to go for her. Good work defensively by Tierra McCowan. Sheldon with it. Pass to Sabali. Over Samuelson, and it's Sabali missing. Well, she rushed that one, but he was out of position, but she couldn't make him pay. Austin outside. Yes, what an assist from Caitlin Clark. Just really good awareness right there on the assist. And here's Agunbawale. 
She's got 13. Here's McCowan. And she takes it in for the layup off a very nice feed. Obviously, McCowan's 6 7 size helps her down low, but she also has a little host of ways to beat you in some nice touch. Clark, left side. Teardrop shot. McCowan with the rebound. That's rough. No one to blame but herself. She should definitely uh, score that time. I don't know what happened. There's a screen by McCowan. Sabali for the lead. And McCowan with the layup. I mean, come on. You think a little tap is going to stop McCowan? No way. She's just too tough. Now Clark. Nine timeout, points timeout. in the game. Now a timeout called by Indiana. A popular topic in WNBA circles, player rights. Yeah, the league has made some major strides in terms of uh, freedom of movement, free agency, and also off the floor benefits. Plus, we've seen salary increases. So it's been great to see these advances the last few years. making a switch here. <laughs> so it's Indiana now. Wheeler defended by Sheldon. Boston right side. Mitchell outside. Mitchell shots good. Nice job by Mitchell. She's a primary scoring option in terms of talent, instincts, and productivity. Sheldon outside. Agumboale shot is good. Now here's Mitchell. She's got 18. Pass to Samuelson. Smith. Now Boston. And a foul called on the shot. Got her on the way up that time, so she'll shoot two. Shooting two. And the first one at the line is good. And she makes both free throws. Here's Sheldon. Outside, Agumawale. McCowan, she's guarded by Boston. Goes back up. McCowan, no good. The Fever leading. Wheeler with it. She hasn't scored yet. That, I'm sure, will change. Back to Boston. The basket good off the assist from Erica Wheeler. Well, Erica Wheeler does a great job of reading the floor. And because of that, she's constantly setting up her teammates for open shots. And when you look at Erica Wheeler, she's played for quite a few teams throughout her career. A true journey woman from being undrafted to making it to the WNBA to playing overseas. She's done it all. And that kind of experience is why she's so respected around the league. Now here's Wheeler. Pass to Boston. Oh. 
Mitchell outside. Down to five on the shot clock. Shoots over Agumbawale. And again, it's Chelsea Indiana Mitchell. converting. And that's pretty much an unguardable move from Mitchell. So skilled and composed with the ball in her hands. Time called here, the Wings decide to talk it over. You look at Kelsey Mitchell, what a contribution. She's torching them right now, and they're gonna talk it over and try to figure out how to slow her roll. Suzan, guarded by Wallace. And here's Brown. She has six. Pass to Uzan. Five to shoot. Segrist. She's guarded by Boston. And another miss by Dallas. Indiana with the ball. Ball with the ball. Back to Wheeler. Now Wallace. Standing her range. Good on the three-point shot. What poise from Wallace behind the arc. Finds an angle and focuses on it. Here's Uzan. Guarded by Wheeler. Brown sets a screen. Lopez Seneschal outside. Here's Sabali. And it's good. Coming up the assist by Lou Lopez Seneschal. Such a crafty finisher. The floater is one of many ways Sabali can put the ball through the hoop. Up top, Wheeler. She hasn't yet put up any points in this one. Pass to Boston. Lots of room. And there are the Fever with another bucket. Well, if you're lucky enough to play with Erica Wheeler, get open. She'll find you. The Wings trail. Here's Uzan. Here's Brown. Clock at six. Kicks it out to Sabali. Lopez in a shawl. Here's Uzan. Off target from three point range. Here's the Fever with the ball. Up top, Wheeler. Covered by Segrist. Pass to Wallace. Down low. Boston. Shoots over Lopez and a shawl. The second effort. And Boston lays it in. But he got caught standing around that time and giving up the second chance points. They need more effort than that on the boards. That can't happen. Absolutely. And we've reached the end of the third. The Fever on top. Up eight. And we'll return shortly. Welcome back as we get set to start the fourth. Here's Uzan. Brown sets a screen. Here's the three. Rebounded by the Fever. 
now Wallace. Pass to Clark from the yard. Brown grabs the board. She can't get anything to drop. And the way she's going, it's probably not something to try to, to shoot her way out of. And I'm sure her teammates would agree with that. You know, the last thing they want to see her doing is shooting it more. Here's a Dumbawale. And that one good. The D has no answer for Ogumanwale, which is why she keeps getting the ball and capitalizing. Pass to Wallace. We're just over a minute into this final quarter of play. Clark outside. Just five to shoot. The three is up. Bangs home the trifecta. Three. Up for the defense, they got to talk to each other. Clearly in air, not getting out there on her three-point attempt. So it's Dallas now. Nine-point game. Brown sets a screen. Here's a Wale. Bag Ben Lay with the rebound. Here's the Fever with the ball. To the middle. It's stolen by Segrist. Game moves along. Two minutes gone here in the fourth. Who's on? Missed inside. Now here's Hole. Side. Shots good by Clark. Well, that pick, it worked like a charm. A nice job taking it right to the tin for the layup. We're in the fourth quarter here, just under two and a half minutes gone. Pass to Brown. A good Wale. Brown sets a screen. Five on the clock. To the left wing. Here's Uzan. She's covered by Clark. The Wings with another miss. So it's Indiana now. A great fourth quarter, just giving up two points. And it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. Well, the defense looking to protect the rim at all costs there. Something you struggled with in your career, Tim, but definitely saved the layup with that foul. She's going to have to earn him at the line. Take a break, take a break. Two shots. And she makes the first. good on the second free throw and here we go to the left side wing back to Goomba Wale pass to Segrist who's on screen by Segrist and another miss by Dallas Clark with it Let's it go from deep. Brown grabs the board. A challenging stretch for Dallas here. Pass to Sheldon. The kick out to Agumawale. Trying to get back on track. And it's good on the layup. As fearless as they come, Ogunbowale with zero issues scoring inside. We don't see that in a lot of guards. Now here's Wallace. Now Hull. Smith right side. Clark outside. Off target from outside. The defense has nothing to worry about out there with her shooting because she just can't dial it in from deep this half. to Segrist. Now Sheldon launches a three. 
It's hauled in by Nalissa Smith. Now here's Wallace. Guarded now by Agunga Wale. And here's Smith. Here's Hull. Off the left rim and out. Agunga Wale with it. Pass to Uzan. Back to Agunga Wale. And with that one, the lead is trimmed to single digits. Just like all the best guards, the elite guards in the world, Arike Ogabanwale finds ways to score inside. Smith with it. And they double up Melissa Smith. Clark. The tray. Hole with the buckets. And they are just killing them with the three-point shot here in the second half. Yeah, and the defense knows it. They are fully stretched out there trying to stop the three and still haven't been able to do yeah, it. Yeah, I don't know defensively what they can do different at this point. To the inside. Here's Brown. Back Ben Lay with the rebound. Great defense right there to prevent one of the best finishers in the league from converting in close. And here's Clark. No good from outside. Well, most games she can hit from deep, but this game, it's not there for her. Pass to Uzan. Segrist. Agunba Wale with it, guarded by Wallace. Outside for Segrist. This one for three. Gets a three-pointer to fall. Yeah, you might not think of her as a true ace from three-point range, but the shot was there for her. The Fever with the lead. Now a timeout, timeout called by Indiana. Outside. From deep. Here's Boston. An amazing finish with a hand right in her face. Such a grinder, always doing the dirty work on the offensive glass. That's what she brings to the table. Outside, Agumba Wale. Laid in with a nice touch off the glass. Well, it's a good thing she showed up today because without her, they'd be in deeper trouble. Here's Mitchell. Boston outside. Clark for three. It's remounted by Sheldon. She's missing shot after shot after shot from three-point land. This is not a fourth quarter. She's going to want to remember Outside, Agunga Wale. Back to Sabali. Six to shoot. Sabali the screen. Agunga Wale from long range. And Samuelson pulls it down. Now here's Clark. Defense right on her. Floats one. Here's Boston. No luck on that one. Good work defensively by Tierra McCowan. On the wings, Satu Sabali. She's guarded by Samuelson. Down low. From short range, Howard gets the bucket. 
she's having one of those days where if she takes it, she makes it. Here's the fever with the ball. Now Clark. Pass to Smith. It's stolen by Howard. Now here's the Kukawale. Outside, Sobley. Now here's Howard, covered by Smith. The 15-footer, and good, as it snugs right down through the net. What a clutch basket from Howard. She flat out loves to take over during important moments. Indiana with the ball. They lead by four. On top Clark, guarded now by Abuja Wale. Tipped away. Sheldon, she's guarded by Samuelson. Boy, this is high drama, guys. They managed to get hot just when it looked like this game was over. What a huge injection of energy they got here in crunch time. And suddenly, they're an offensive juggernaut. Yeah, where did it come from? Dallas calls timeout. Timeout calls to Dallas. Time called here, the Wings decide to talk it over. Side of Wale. Here's Howard. Sheldon. Left side, Howard. Outside, Sobley. Four on the shot clock. Here's McCowan. And they're going to count the bucket and send her to the line. Three point play. There's a four-second difference from the shot clock and game clock. Now here's Clark, guarded now by Abunga Wale. Clark outside. Fires for three. Nails the triple! And they're getting that lead way up there by right now. It should be easy for them the rest of the way. Yeah, and at this late stage of a game, a lead like that has a team feeling awfully good. And the other one bad. Time called here. The Wings decide to talk it over. They not only need to draw up a score here, but a quick one. And once they get that quick strike, there has to be an immediate foul. Yeah, Brian, they can't waste any time. Connects from downtown. Even on inbounds plays, you can't leave three shooters alone on the perimeter. They paid for it there. Timeout called the Fever. And they commit the intentional foul, and we'll see another one of those so that they can get into the penalty. And that's just what they have to do in order to, to get that ball back. Yeah, to me, that's a good foul. Clock management, crucial at this time of the game. And they go to the intentional foul.
shoot the two. So the first one drops, and that makes it a three-point lead. So she gets them both, and it's a four-point ball game. Now that's how you close a game out. Those free throws will bury them for sure. No good there. And so it's the Fever who that's come out on top game. here. They seem to relish their role as the villains here. I sense that too. Uh, they really did feed off all the negative energy this crowd was directing at them. They turned it around and used it to motivate them to close out the win. And that'll wrap it up.